Dancing with the Stars. Now, what is it like different five seasons ago to now? Oh, whoa. The innocence is completely gone, in my opinion. I think it's a very manipulated process right now. It's very premeditated. It's a media launching pad. Welcome to Game On. Today, we're on the set of General Hospital with the beautiful and talented Kelly Monaco. We're going to talk about movies, soaps, dancing with the stars, and why she thinks I can take home the Mary Ball trophy. Kelly, thank you very <laughs> much for coming on my show. Thank you for coming on my show. I know. This is, <laughs> this is hot. I we're, always... we're in my world right now. It's like your world and my world colliding a little bit. I Which like is it. a sexy thing. I like uh, that. Now, General Hospital, the longest running of all the soap operas. Is it? Well, production-wise, you know, the other ones had to kick out. Like, uh, when I met my wife, one of the first things she said is, um, don't call me between one and two. First night I met her. <laughs> and I was thinking, you know, why, who are you trying to get away from? She's yeah. like, no, we watch <laughs> All My Children. Now that's gone. We have only we only have four surviving daytime dramas left. What do you think about that? I'm split down the middle with, um, with where I think daytime is going. I think it's devastating that we're missing half of them, but I also want to rally from down below and and make the lasting shows the best shows on daytime right now and uh, keep them on for another 25 years. We have so many people like to do movies. Demi Moore, yes. Lawrence Fishburne, Kelsey yes. Grammer. They all left this world mm -hmm. and have gone on to be big movie stars. Yes. Do you think it's the, how many pages of stuff you have to know per day. Oh, whoa. I think it's way easier to be a big movie star than it is to be a daytime star. Really? Yes. Movie stars got it easy. They have trailers and caterers and five pages of dialogue a day and someone doing their action scenes and <laughs> primping them and kissing their ass and <laughs> really good writing that they don't have to tweak. <laughs> now, I'm a, I'm a fan of a show that's on ABC as well called Dancing with the Stars. And you were the first winner of season one. I that's was. 12 years ago. Right? No, now, it was 12 seasons 12 ago. 12 seasons ago. Only five years. Only we five years. Be, well, you know, you were, Playboy you were 14. Playboy was 12 years ago, but not. I wasn't going to bring Playboy up. But now that you mentioned it. I told it, you, I'm not ashamed. No, I'm I got, I've got I, a colorful past. But Dancing with the Stars. Now, what is it like different five seasons ago to now? Oh, well. Um, the innocence is completely gone, in my opinion. I think it's a very manipulated process right now. Really? I think it's more about, um, yeah, really. I mean, when, when we did it, you were getting into something that you had no idea what you were getting into, you mm -hmm. know? And now it's very premeditated. It's a media launching pad. And I think people definitely go into it with that in mind. When before it was like, yeah, I don't know how to dance, and I'm going to learn how to dance, and this is really cool, and who knows what's going to happen. Right. You know what's going to happen. You're going to be on TMZ, and you're going to be followed, and you're going to be in Us Weekly, and you're going to lose a lot of weight, and you're going to do a lot of endorsements. <laughs> now, did that happen five seasons ago? Um, no, I mean, it didn't. It, eventually, yeah, that's what, that's what came of it. But no, it was really innocent and pure and... and do you know what I'm saying? I, you I gotta kinda, know what I'm saying. Well, I kind of see that the judges are big now. They're just like they did on American Idol. And now the dancers are bigger celebrities than the celebrities right. on there. Yeah, so, I, I mean, and they're and they're bringing in, like, professional dancers, like the Pussycat Doll Girl and, you know, these people who dance for a living. Well, I was thinking, you know, um, maybe you can coach me because, you know, <laughs> my wife wants me to go on. Uh, you should go on. I have a size. 16 shoe. I'm seven foot. Uh, That's like almost hurt. three times the size of my shoe. Exactly. My shoe is bigger than your whole body. <laughs> I don't think it's going to be cool to see a seven foot. Wait, your bones hurt and everything? You feel crickety and old and. No, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you can Kelly. do it. No. I, 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 I think you can do it and you would do a fantastic job. If I can do it, you can do it. But if I were to go for it, what, yeah. what, what would be your advice? Um, make sure you have a wardrobe malfunction and everyone will love you. Now, how would that, my pants will fall down? <laughs> yeah, something, something like my that. pants fall down and I fall. <laughs> like you moon the judges or something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's talk about movies. We did Mumford. Mumford. Idle Hand. Uh-huh. Basketball. Basketball. When is the move going to be for Kelly to leave? Oh, to go into like big time movies? Go into big time movies. I don't think they want me, so I'm pretty happy here. Why do you say that? 
Um, I don't know, John. When you do daytime for 12 years, right. Dancing with the Stars, Peep Show, Playboy, you kind of have a certain road that is available for But you. did you know that? And did I'm, I'm aware. That? I know my road, and I like it, and I'll drive fast, and I'll take chances, but... You know, I'm, but, but, I'm very realistic that Spielberg probably won't be knocking on my door. Although I'm probably, I'm good enough, I'm mm -hmm. smart enough, talented enough, mm -hmm. but, you know. And I like me. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm probably going to stay here for a while. You had a small stint or a stint on... Baywatch. I know you were I body did. double. Yeah, you yeah, body no, I did. I, I actually did a year on Baywatch. I was a rookie lifeguard. It was like a glorified extra, mm -hmm. I'd like to put it. And I had to go up every morning to swim with everybody up at Pacific Palisades pool and then in the ocean. And, and Carmen would come up every morning too and she didn't know how to swim. They're like trying to teach her how to swim. And I'm like, you're like, I'm, I was a lifeguard. Like, I can do this. And, um, and they were having such a hard time with her, and I finally, I actually like offered up. I'm like, oh, but do you guys need a body dough? Like, I'll do it. And they were like, perfect. Did so you get an extra check for it? I did, yeah. That's, see, that's they why call I, it a water bump. A water bump? Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> I got a water bump. I just want you to know I'm okay with the way things are. I don't need a piece of paper to tell me you love me. Oh, then we write the sex? <laughs> oh, I love this show. <laughs> And if we do get to the point that getting pregnant is an option, I want it to be your decision, too. You got 40 pages. Like, how much of this do you have to say? These are my first scenes up, and then later there's a big, another big chunk of them. So I don't, I'll only bring these up first. Do you have to say it word for word? Or do you... Yeah, they want it really, they want it word for word, pretty much. And when you block in the morning is when you can make your cuts and stuff and change stuff if it makes better sense. And it's smarter writing. Do you realize there's people all over the country who literally rely on every single word you say? It, to the I do. I really do. I do realize that people watch us seven days a week. Get the magazine. Get soap the magazine. magazines. Call us by our, our characters' names. Mm -hmm. And use this as their escape life. from their, their life. And do hang on to every word that we say. I appreciate you. And how you feel, it does matter to me. And if you don't want a baby, Jason, I am okay with that. I think soap fans are the best fans out there. They're so loyal. Anyone who can tune into you every single day, year after year, after year, after generation. Mm. I got the most elaborate flowers and stuff. Oh, you got them? I didn't think they got them. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to get I, I got this thing of flowers yesterday, and I was like, I have a secret admirer. This is so fun. I've never gotten, like, the, you know, a big bouquet of flowers before from, like, a dude, and it looked like it could potentially be a dude put that together. How many days at work? Five. Five, Five days. Five days a week. Mm -hmm. 40 pages a day. Uh-huh. Yeah. So this is a real job. 315 days a year. So this is a real We don't job. have hiatus like the rest of the shows. So you want to run uh, I'll run your lines. Oh, you're I don't know if you're going to like what we're talking about. Um, I just want you to know I'm okay with the way things are. I don't need a piece of paper to tell me you love me. If that's how you feel. Oh, wait. Is that not how you feel? And I then, love you. And then yeah, and then we're over here. Oh, then we write the sex? Oh, I love this show. <laughs> Cut to pasties and a nude thong. <laughs>